Hey guys, Ben here from Corner Flag Games, and welcome to episode number seven of the throwaway career mode with LAFC. So guys, we will have another couple of games in this episode, and I'm recording this major early considering when I normally would. I'm recording this actually during the week because I will not be home all weekend to record and edit this uh, as I will be in Newcastle. Going to see my friend Josh from Crossbar Capers, who you are all aware of, who is a friend and a guest on our channel. And I do a weekly podcast with him about all things Newcastle Jets related. I will be up in Newcastle with Josh celebrating his 30th birthday. So I am going to jump into the calendar. We are into the calendar right now. And there will be four games in today's episode, like always, two played and two simulated. So what we're going to do is play the first game against the New England Revolution in the league. Uh, the second one we will simulate against the San Jose Earthquakes at home in the league. Uh, the third game we will play, which is against uh, Bastion Schweinsteiger's Chicago Fire. And the final game will be against Colorado Rapids in the league. So guys, without further ado, let's get into this game against the New England Revolution. Alrighty guys, so moving into today's first game. We are facing off against the New England Revolution, the home of the Bank of California Stadium. Alrighty, lads, so here is the LAFC lineup with our one change still. Giovanni in goal, the back four of Yedlin, Bacow, Zimmerman, and Lawrence. Three in the midfield with Adams, Nguyen, and Hotter. And up front, it's our attacking trio of Rossi, Diamande, and Carlos Vela. Here's the lineup for the New England Revolution, and it's Turner in goal. Annie Barber, McCanchy, Delamere and Rowe make up a back four. Two holding midfielders in Caldwell, Zabao, Sibiris, Fangez, and Penilla make up the midfield, and Banbury up top as the lone striker. And as I finish off that, it will be Diamande who gets us underway in this game. So we're looking to strike a pulse forward in this game and get another win on the board. Things started to go our way late on in the last episode. He's hoping we can con continue that run again as Rowe clears it from the back line from the New England Revolution. But Zimmerman wins the header. It goes into Diamande. Plops it off to Horta. Can't win that challenge though. And the deflection comes off Rossi and it will go out for a throw in for New England. And as I say that, we win it. Rossi doing well to win that ball back. There is a man on the deck for them, but that's okay. Yedlin storming down this outside. He's gonna take a strike. He's dragged it wide. But wide to the point where he still managed to keep it in. It goes all the way back to Lawrence. In to young Tyler Adams. Comes inside to Horta. Horta loves a long bomb! And we've hit the post! And Diamande on the follow-up has completely missed it. And the New England Revolution backline do clear it out for a throw-in for us. Some good signs in the first 10 minutes here. And as I say that, we do manage to screw up the throw-in, but that's all right. It's Segbers through to Pandes. Coming through the middle now. Bambri gets in the way of it. That's all right. Yedlin picks it up. Plays it through to Horta. Out wide now. Coming in to Carlos Vela. He's still making a massive run. It Here he is. Horta is on the outside of the box. Dunks it across. It's New in. Tries to go up for it, but Diamando tries to steal it. And Yedlin does win the second phase throw in and dumps it off to Tyler Adams. Plays a bit of smart ball here with Horta. Flicks it through to Adams. Adams takes a long bomb. And there it is, ladies and gents. we found the back of the net. 17 minutes in. It's a classic strike from our young midfielder is Tyler Adams. The Crawley Town hero has done it. Great job bringing him into the club. Does well. Dances around his man. Plays a quick one-two with Horta to find himself some space. And just smacks that one at the edge of the area. And it ripples the back of the net. Well done to the number 17. And the goal comes to Tyler Adams for his fifth goal in the MLS. Well, lads, off to a bright and running start. 18 minutes in, Tyler Adams has done the biz for us. Uh, he's done well, our young import. He's done well to get a great idea to bring him into the club. I can't remember whose idea that might have been. I think it might have been mine. Bringing a Crawley Town player back into the fold as we 
Launch that one skyward forwards to Nguyen, who plays a 1-2 with Horta. Waiting for the run from Nguyen. Is it going to come? It does. Slightly late, though. Nguyen on the outside of the box. And Rossi gets taken out on the edge of the area. No, no foul given, though. There wasn't a lot in it. Just bumped off the ball slightly. Caldwell playing a 1-2 down the back line. There's the big switch. Can we get a man on ahead? Yes, Yedlin does get ahead to it. It's come through to Adams, who pings it out to Carlos Vela. Hasn't done an awful lot so far this season for us. And Adams gets tripped over his own feet. Drops it back to Horta. Horta loves a long bomb too. Diamande manages to win that header as we go backwards. It's Lawrence pushing up very high. Yedlin into Adams. I see Nguyen free. Nguyen takes a fake shot. He dances round him. And there it is, lads. 30 minutes in and we are 2-0 up. It's Nguyen, the attacking midfielder. Dances round, gets on a fake shot. Splits open the defence. He was well placed. And it was a calm, cool and collected strike by our attacking midfielder, which saw the back of the net ripple. Some 1-2 play there with Tyler Adams collecting the assist. So one goal, one assist for Tyler Adams. He's doing well in this game. And we are pushing on forward with our attacking philosophy. And the goal comes to Lee Nguyen for his 10th goal in the MLS. And New England will get us kicked off again. So we've hit the 31 minute mark now. And it is all LAFC so far. New England not performing particularly well. As Diamande dispossesses New England once more. Vela plays on a 1-2. He's pushed through from Horta to New England once more. And he's dragged it back. Just too much time on the ball. Does take a strike. Oh, and it hits Turner on the rebound. I was pulling the trigger a hell of a lot earlier when he first received that ball, but we did have to cut back. He'd just gone straight past it. Goes through the legs of the defender. But the New England keeper, well aware of the danger. But we do get ourselves a corner out of it. 35 in. And it will be Carlos Vela to take it. Dumps it into the mix. Gets up. Oh, and it's barely wide by Bacow, our new centre-back. He's done well to get up and reach that header. It's nice to have some attacking presence in the air, in the box for once. Our team seems to be a bit short and lackluster in that department. But uh, he, Bacow will be our centre-back replacement for when uh, Danilo Silva does go back at the end of this season, once he's finished his loan at the club. Mendes plays it straight through to Bacow. Bacow, a beautiful through ball through to Horta. Horta's waiting for an option. Set to come back inside. It's a dangerous one. We do give away possession. It's Bunbury. It's three on one now. Penilla. You get a man back. It is Zimmerman. Zimmerman on the chase. We do manage to hold it away. Adam's coming back to give a hand. And as I say, that comes storming through. He's put through Diamande. Can Diamande do the business? Oh, and the time shot is not timed very well. And it goes off for a throw in as they clear it. Yedlin now plays a quick ball through to Carlos Vela. And we're gonna go early with the cross. It's gonna go fall to Diamande. He gets ahead on it, but Turner equal to it. It's an easy save for him. And an uncontested header there sees it go as the referee blows his whiffle for the halftime break. So it's been a very strong display. Very strong 45 minutes by the lads of LAFC. I'm over the moon with their performance, considering. And at the halftime break, it's LAFC 2, New England Revolution 0. Alrighty, lads, so here are the match packs at the end of our first 45 minutes against New England. So for LAFC, it is two goals, 10 shots, five on target with a shooting accuracy of 50%. To New England's zero goals, one shot, none on target with shooting accuracy of a big fat duck. We are killing it in the passing accuracy, holding off at 89% to New England's 75%. And the possession, we're storming away in that too with 61% to New England's 39%. So without further ado, lads, let's get into this second half. And it will be New England that kick us off for the second stanza. Playing rather defensively. We have managed to split them apart on multiple occasions now. Something that we have been able to do. It just seems that their press 
is not as aggressive as most teams that we've seen in the MLS so far. And it doesn't seem to be causing us too many problems. As Hort is on the ball now, just try to fling himself back, cuts across. It's a bit of space here in the midfield. We've got a lot of players here. It is intercepted by Delema. And Rodrigo Bacow gets a tap on that one to win possession. Bacow, out wide now to Yedlin. Yedlin's seen Carlos Velo make an absolute stormer down this side. Can he get a can he get a shot off? He does. He's hit the post, but the rebound is tapped in. I didn't exactly see who was that tapped in the rebound, but Carlos Vela did well. He's a man who hasn't provided too many goals so far this season. But he has done well, storming down this right wing, has a crack off, hits the post, and luckily there was an LAFC man there to clean up. Going through, just a tap in there, it's a simple one, but we'll take it at the end of the day, a goal is a goal. And it comes to Tyler Adams for his sixth goal in the MLS and his second today. New England will kick us off once more. This is starting to become too much of a habit to them. We're going to stick with our aggressive press and push on forward. Horta dispossessed. But we do win the free kick out of it. And it's Zimmerman to take it off through to Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams on a storming run. Gets past one, flicks it over, but it's a bit too much. And it will go out for a throw-in. Very deep in defensive territory now for New England. If you feel New wind's getting a bit leggy, I might give him a bit of a rest soon and bring on maybe Kay, or I might try uh, somebody else off the bench. But not too sure yet. I tend not to sit in the menus to do substitutions for this series, but Rodrigo Bacow comes through with an absolute clutch tackle. Flick that one through to New win. Holds off. He's done well. Needs to release that ball though. It's gone through to Lawrence. Lawrence just working his way through. He's found some space there. It's gone to Tyler Adams. He's gone for the flick up. We'll win the free kick though. And we will take off Tyler Adams, the goal scorer now, and replace him with Kay. And it's Carlos Vela to take it. It's a fair whack out. So, for my sort of thing for free kicks, this is just pummel it into the wall and see what we can get off it. Vela flicks on to Andre Horta. Horta goes back into Yedlin. We have a man running out wide there. We do, sort of. We sort of come back a bit. Flick that one on through. It's found Rossi out wide. Rossi not done too much in this game. Dispossessed, but we will win the throw out of it. It's gone to Rossi. Rossi puts in a cross. It's fallen to New Inn. Fortunately, not able to capitalise. Porter back into the mix. K plays it through. DeAndre Yedlin. I'm pretty sure it was. No, it's Carlos Vela. Finally. Carlos Vela, my son, take a bow. That was an absolute fucking thunder cunt. So it's come back off. They've put it back into the mixer with the header. We've passed it straight through on the first time shot outside the edge of the area. He's just absolutely fucking pinched it with the outside boot shot gone inside of the defender and caught the goalkeeper completely off guard. Captain Vela, take a bow, son. And the goal cars come to him. It's Carlos Vela for his fourth goal in the MLS. So, four goals for Vela, four goals in this game. It's been a rather tumultuous time for New England Revo Revolution, and we are going to come at them once more. And they give over possession. It's K. First time ball out to Rossi. Diamande just lurking in an offside position. Does flick that one through to New Inn. We've done well there. Play that one back. It's Andre Horta. We have to go all the way back to Bacow. Zimmerman. Straight through to Horta. Horta finds some space out here. It's K. Does a ball roll. Gets inside his defender. Takes a strike. And the substitute has absolutely crippled them. And he's made it number five for this game. This, by and large, has got to be the biggest blowout game that we have had this season. And the young substitute has done well. He's slipped off his experienced defender, ball rolled him, and made him look absolutely like a spat. He's done well. Quick ball roll, cuts on the inside, on his opposite foot, launches it off, and away we go. 
And a goal comes to Mark Anthony K for his first goal in the MLS. And on the back of that, we have replaced Andre Porter. He will be going off to rest some legs. And I think we brought in Astetta? Atreta? Don't even remember his name. I'll... There he is. A lad on the ball now. The one that's just lost possession. <laughs> Gives it into Segbris. And yes, gone out wide. Lawrence, too pacey. Zimmerman now. Tries to smack that one through. Caicedo. Bunbury, straight through to Fandes. Drops in a tackle. Keeper, equal to it. He's done well. And we're going to try and launch off a quick counter here. If we can continue to win possession. They're coming out firing at us now. They know that this game is all but lost to them. Two substitutes playing some decent through balls through to each other. He's going to try and slip through Diamande now. Diamande out wide, tries to go for a turn. He's dropped on his bum. Rev says nothing doing. We will bring on Silver for Bacow. Give him a bit of a rest. There's our substitute. Great tackle. So Bacow does give his leave in the 89th minute for Silver. Another solid centre back of ours. Up into the mixer. We win the header. It's Diamande. Tries to play through New In. And he manages to do so. We've tried to play a silly ball across and it's not going to go anywhere. Lawrence plays one through. Oh, Diamande so close. I didn't mean to play that through ball across goal. If I'd have known it was going that close, I would have shot for it. That's a speculative sort of header, but it doesn't really matter as we are blowout winners after 90 minutes in this game. It was a relatively easy one. We're on our form, we're on game. And we are back to winning ways. Couple of different scorers on the score sheet. Tyler Adams with two. And Kay, the young substitute for our midfield, netting his first goal towards the back end of the season. It's been a solid substitute for us so far this season. But at the end of 90 minutes, it's LAFC five, New England Revolution nil. Okay, guys, so here are the match packs after our 90 minutes against the New England Revolution. So for LAFC, it's five goals, 15 shots, eight on target, with a shooting accuracy of 53%. To New England's zero goals, two shots, one on target, with a shooting accuracy of 50%. In the possession stakes, we do firmly hold that one, although we did drop off a little bit in the second half with 59% to us and 41% to New England. And when it comes to the passing accuracy, we held that one firm, 87% to New England's 78%. Alrighty guys, so moving into today's simulated game and we are facing off against the San Jose Earthquakes. And this, as you can see on the left-hand side, we are running our first team because there is a week between our last game. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to quickly skip through this and we run out two nil victors, but unfortunately Zimmerman will not be able to make our next clash due to a second yellow card. Diamande and Vela getting on the score sheet. Alrighty guys, so moving into today's third game, we will be playing the Chicago Fire away in the league. So without further ado guys, let's get into this game. Alrighty guys, so moving into today's third game, we are facing off against Bastion Schweinsteiger's Chicago Fire. Alrighty, so here is the Chicago Fire lineup. It's Cleveland in goal, Kappelhoff, Lillard, Schweinsteiger, and Edwards make up a back four. Two holding midfielders in Adams and McCarthy, Hasler, Milhovic, and Katai in the higher midfield, and Nikolic is the striker. And here is our tried and trusted first 11 for LAFC. It's Giovanni in goal, Yedlin, Silva, Bacow, and Lawrence make up a back four. Adams, Nguyen, and Horta in our midfield, and our attacking weapons up front in a three, Rossi, Diamande, and Carlos Vela. And Chicago Fire will kick us off for this game. And let's keep going the way that we've been going, lads. We've had two wins so far in this episode. Doing extremely well. And let's keep that run going. Milahovic on the ball now. Lawrence comes in with a clever stop now. Horta plays a decent throw ball through to Nguyen, who sprays one out wide. It's gone to Vela. 
Vela, can you pick out the man at the back stick? Can we get there in time? We do! Unfortunately, the rebound does come to Diamande, but he's just too slow to react. Well done by Cleveland, the keeper. The ball flung in at the back stick. Gets a shot off by Rossi. Well saved by the keeper. But we do win the corner out of it, and it will be new in to take it. Dumps one straight into the mix up. Semi unmarked. We don't win possession of it, though. It has broken out to Nikolic, the striker for the fire, and they've just sent through Milijovic. Just sort of holding off, but the bad pass sprays out to Tyler Adams, Vela with a heavy touch. Through to New Win. I see some space out wide. That's a decent ball. Fortunately, can't capitalise on that one, Rossi. Just a tad short, but he does win that one back. And then screws up the possession once more, but comes in and wins it once more. Doing the defensive work he is. And it's Vela now out on this side. Tries to spray a ball through to the on-running fullback. Unlucky he doesn't go through. Rossi loses possession once more. And it's Chicago who will break on a counter-attack now through Hassler. Back into the middle to Nikolic. Adams. Nikolic again. Out wide. Couldn't capitalise on the loss of possession there. They spray one in. Giovanni. Well done to keep a hold of that. And it's fallen out to Carlos Vela out on the far wing. Waiting for a run to happen. Nothing doing, says the referee on that tackle. We are a bit stretched at the back. I don't know why our boys are pressing so hard. I haven't set up any instructions for them to do so yet. It's Hassler now. Scrapes past the tackle at the edge of the area. Puts a cross in, but it's well, well over. And we do win the throw in out of it. Yedlin will take. Carlos Vela. Flicks one over the top for Yedlin. Yedlin looking for some support. Gets it through Carlos Vela. Pass unable to stick as Chicago go for the big switch. And it comes off for them. Mihalovic, Rossi, winning possession for once. It's a nice change. It's Tyler Adams storming through the guts of the park now. Flicks it out to Horta. What can we do? It's been chased down, Horta. Just has to go back to Tyler Adams. Cuts inside. His marker. Oh, and he gets tripped at the last minute. Referee says that will be a three kick. Carlos Vela to take it. We're going to try and get this one into New Inn and try and go on the turn. Takes it first time. And luckily enough, just not enough sting on it to get it past the keeper. As Chicago try and break on a counter very quickly. We do win possession out though. It's New Inn. New Inn's going to fly that one out to Rossi wide. Rossi with a bit of a heavy touch comes inside. Bit of a ball roll there. And it loses possession in the process. Come in for a decent slide tackle. Referee's played advantage. Says nothing doing. McCarthy comes in for another sliding challenge. Yedlin, well timed. Ref says nothing doing. He does say play on. Edwards, out wide. Katai, they've gone into the area. That's an easy, comfortable save for Giovanni. And we give away possession through poor distribution in our back line. Yedlin plays that one in. We do manage to get it away. Although relatively, not relatively safe. I'm not feeling as great in defense without Zimmerman there, I must admit. Comes inside, Lawrence plays on an on-running Horta. Horta, can he slip through Diamande? He does. Diamande flings it back to Nguyen, but it's just too close. He gets clipped at the last minute. And Diamande should have been a bit selfish there in taking that one. Sprayed one out to their wide man. Nikolic out wide to Hassler. Gone to the back stick. Yedlin. Well defended. Adams. Very slow ball through to Rossi. Rossi will send on Lawrence down this line. He's going to go for it. He's going to try and thump this one out to the back stick to Carlos Vela. Gets a hair on it. And it said that it was well timed, but... It looked rather a disgusting display to me. But as we say that, the ref does blow his whistle for half time. And it has been a very to and fro game this one against Chicago. But at the half time break, it's Chicago Fire nil, LAFC nil. So lads, as we enter the shed at half time, here are the match facts. So for Chicago Fire, it's no goals, one shot, one on target with a shooting accuracy of 100%. 
to LAFC's zero goals, three shots, one on target with a shooting accuracy of 33%. Possession is a favorite at the moment to the Chicago Fire with 54%. This isn't the first time that we've seen this to LAFC's 46%. And our passing accuracy well below that of Chicago Fire with their 84% to our 76%. So lads, let's come out after the halftime break and turn some of these stats around. And it is going to be Dear Monday who starts to set things alight in this game. Vela playing a 1-2. It's Adams now. Adams through to Diamande. Getting off the back foot very early. It's new in for an open goal. And there it is, lads. Straight from the bloody kickoff, we capitalise. We finally draw first blood. It took 46 minutes and another 20 in the sheds, but we have managed to pull one out through Mr. Old Reliable himself. It is Lee New in. And it's a classic goal from... Well, what play too. Fantastic play. Finds that space, opens up the defence on the opposite side there. And has plenty of times to sit there, tee that one up, and put it straight past the keeper. And the goal comes to Lin Yuin for his 11th goal in the MLS. And Chicago are a bit shell shocked after the halftime break as they kick things off once more. We do win possession of a rather. Tidy ball there, and that's a fantastic ball out to Yedlin. His touch let him down, though. That would have been a fantastic run of play. Vela with the interception now. What can he do? Dances past one. Can he get on side of that last one? No, he can't. He did all the hard work. Unfortunately, just not that... Needed that extra touch of class to bring him on the other side. And it's Adams. Puts through Nikolic. 1-2. Milahovic. Try and come in for the interception. Lawrence with an unfortunate yellow card. I don't know when he's gotten that one. Schweinsteiger comes in for a clutch header. The ex-Premier League stalwart. Porter back to Silva. And Porter with a bit of space here. He's going to send on Carlos Vela. Can he come bring this one inside? This time he does. He takes a time shot. Keeper gets up to stop it. And the defence clear it away. That was well fantastic. And they break on the counter, but Lawrence shuts down that one. Rodrigo Bacow smashes that one into the stands for no apparent reason. And it's Kapilhoff for the throw in. Adams, long ball out. It's found Diamande. Can Diamande do a bit of business now? He does, he gets past one. Tries to knock it past the second. Comes back, looks like he's gonna get into a bit of trouble here. Oh, he's giving that one straight to Rossi. Rossi takes a strike. But unfortunately, it's just not enough. Porter now. Into Diamande. Diamande working a bit of space. Takes a range time shot. And it bounces right in front of the keeper. And hits the side post. It's holding up the back net. Trying something from range. Diamande trying absolutely everything at the moment. as Cleveland gets things back underway. Win the header, you win. Well done to win it. Diamande finds him once more. Carlos Vela tries to bring things back, slow a bit of pace down. And there's thump one out here. And it's Carlos Vela who's getting back to defend it. Silva now, not the quickest player. Dances past, Lawrence gets a header up. Well done, good defensive header. Rossi sprays the ball out wide, back to can't even remember that was. I think it was Vela. But they do break away once more. Pacau gets another one away. And they're putting a bit of the press on now. Chicago. Kapilov. Sprays that one down the wing. It's the first time cross in. It is well punted. Come on, meet that ball, lads. New in. Porter. Straight through. Go once more, lad. It's Vela. Adam, sorry. Lawrence, seen out wide in space. Gives it to Rossi. Can he score? Finally, he gets one in. It is the young man, Rossi. He hadn't done too much in this game. Gave away a lot of possession. I think the youngster just needs to get a decent goal under his belt like that one. 
I can't even remember the last time if he scored, if he has at all, but playing out on that wide left, he has done fantastically well. Brings that one in, perfect stop, turn, and it's an absolutely fantastic goal. Top bins, lad, top bins. And the goal comes to Diego Rossi. I think it was said his fourth, I don't know. It just sort of happened so quick. But we are going to pause right now because we are going to make some substitutions. Players getting a bit tired, so I might give Morris a try. I'm pretty sure Morris can play out wide. He sure can. Do I have somebody else that can sort of play wide? No, I don't. I really should have another one on the bench. Then you feel high, but who has, I might add, just come back from injury as well, so he, ha he does have the band-aid at the moment. So I'm not prepared, probably, to run him. He's more of a defensive midfielder. You're more of an attacking midfielder. So I might replace you with Vela. And while we're here, Ramirez, I know he's a striker, but we're gonna play him as more of a shadow. So we'll make those three substitutions now. We just have to wait for the break in play to get them all on. Nicholas out does the defense, it's Johnson. We get a man in the way, it is Rodrigo Bacow who does the, does the deed. Gets it away, Silva. Adams, can we launch something on here? Horta tries to flick over a ball of Vela. Oh, and they've broken through. They've taken a time shot. But Giovanni does manage to get that one as Silva clears it, bombs it on down. Come on, none of our substitutions are going to get on the way we're going. Capital off. Straight through to Nikolic. Lawrence wins that one. Tries to go straight through, but gives away possession. Can we win that one? Yep, get it away, lads. Get it away. 89th minute, bomb it long. What have we got? Diamando just don't have the legs to crack on it. I don't think our substitutes are going to get anywhere near the pitch today. Johnson. Through to Mihailovic. Ref says advantage. Beautiful sliding tackle there. And it's Vela Diamande brought down off the ball. But the referee says no more, lads. That will do it for this 90 minutes against Chicago. Done well against the team from the opposite side of the US. Pretty sure they are part of the Eastern Conference. But it was a hard one. Diego Rossi does well. First goal that he scored in quite a while. But good to get another one under his belt. Bit of confidence back in the young lad. And after 90 minutes, it is Chicago Fire nil, LAFC. Two. Alrighty guys, so here are the match facts after our 90 minutes against Chicago. So for them, it is zero goals, three shots, two on target with a shooting accuracy of 66%. Two LAFCs, two goals, eight shots, three on target with a shooting accuracy of 37%. We did raise up our passing accuracy to 80% to match that of Chicago's 81%. In the possession, we weren't able to bring that one back, but we did swing it all the way with 51% to Chicago and 49% to us. Alrighty guys, so we've just got some worrying news before we go into our final game of this episode against Colorado, and we do have a training injury, and unfortunately it has come to Rodrigo Bacal, who has suffered a collateral ligament, and will be out for the next two months, so that is not good news for us. Okay guys, so moving into our fourth and final game of this episode, it is a Simulated match away to the Colorado Rapids as you can see on the right hand side. We are running out our first team So we are doing quite well going to be rather difficult to get past the ex Premier League goalkeeper That is Tim Howard. We are 25 minutes in so far, but nothing We're just gonna skip straight through this and it is a respectable one or draw against Colorado What does worry me is that our youngster K has an injury Confirmation of that injury and it is that Mark Anthony K has suffered now a broken toe will be out for the next two months, so I dare say that him and Rodrigo Bacau are now out for the rest of the season. 
Alrighty guys, so that is going to do us for today's episodes. There will be another couple of games as we start to head towards the end of the season in our next episode, uh, starting off with one at home against the Houston Dynamo. So, thank you very much for watching guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and leave your comments and feedback down below. Don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already and tick the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. For all those that don't know, please jump on and join in the fun and the banter on the official Corner Flag Games Discord server. Links for that will be on screen and in the description below. And for all those that are aware or aren't aware now, I am starting to do a bit more live streaming now, both on YouTube and on Twitch. And so what you can do is follow me on Twitch to get notifications for when I go live on there. And make sure you are subscribed on YouTube to make sure you get the notifications for when I go live on that platform as well. And I'll be back with the next episode of the Throwaway Career Mode very soon. Oh yeah, everybody now.